All right, so a lot of people talk about uh, startups and, and how, you know, it's ridiculous amounts of money being thrown around at ideas. Um, the one thing I wanted to talk about today is, is the MVP or the minimum viable product. And why is it so important to a lot of businesses? Not just startups, but also small businesses. You have to start with somewhere, and normally it's through an MVP. A lot of times people are creating MVPs and are not calling them MVPs for the simple fact that they just don't know that that's something that a person has coined. Um, I'm not really sure uh, who started to use that term of, of MB, MVP, but it, it really doesn't matter. It's, it's just that it's super, super important. And it's the idea of having something that is a minimum vi viable product. And what does that mean exactly? Well, it means that you have to have something that you can show to people and with the hopes of you showing someone, they're willing to buy or use something you're building or some service you're producing. So it could be anything from a mock website to, uh, um, you know, maybe a prototype that you have. Let's say you're making some type of new, like, appliance or you're fusing like a couple of tools together to give someone some new experience what you normally would do is take the time invest it in creating this uh, you know prototype and then you take it around to customers and figure out who would buy it and uh, the minimum valuable product or the MVP is, is super important because it gives you that starting point of hey I have something that I'm willing to demonstrate to people and I want to see if they are if I'm able to sell it, and if I'm able to sell it, then I have something that I can, uh, you know, work with and I can continue to mold. So it's really your starting point. And the great thing about a minimum valuable product is you're putting in a minimum set of features. And if those features don't work or you can't sell it, then fine, you know, just, you know, start over, work on something else.